take 25. <laughs> hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie, that's my little sister. Desiree. And today we're gonna be talking about A Quiet Place 2. I did do my very first first time watch last week so you guys can check it out I'll go ahead and link in a little card up here I think this is where it pops up from this is after work you guys I'm looking at pretty rough this is as much of an effort as I was willing to do for you guys today so sister we had another uh, memory card issue after the theater funny funny story though you guys we were well this technically should have been the hitman wife's bodyguard review but while we were there at the theater we we're like what if we just watched a quiet place too instead of having to wait in line for the screening but we opted for this movie so sister what did you think about a quiet place too i like how it starts it's how how they come to be well not really how they come to be but how they come to the earth <laughs> Yes, the opening part of the movie was very interesting. We got to see day one of this like alien apocalyptic world universe or whatever yeah. it is, how it started. The concept of how you went from not caring, how making noise and like doesn't matter to like being super quiet mm. and making a sound. Yeah, the, the use of sound um, in obviously in, in both uh, part one and two is a big deal for a movie that is meant to be like silent right like no sound whatsoever but like every little thing is really emphasized it really is you know amplified to that extra level mm -hmm. yeah it's really cool that's yeah. the way that that sound is used okay. a little side note because it really it just popped in my head um we got nachos <laughs> <laughs> to this <silent> movie. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I, look, in my defense, it was after work and I was hungry, okay? And then the movie was gonna go, I go, oh shit, my nachos, like we ain't home. And I'm like, hurry, help me, help me. <laughs> At some point, I really thought they were like getting betrayed and I, I thought he, he was gonna leave them, just stranded and just take off with the little... Her hearing aid. Yeah, her ear, hearing aid. I felt though like this was more the kids' movies. Yeah, like this one was teenager. more. Like, even though they were good, like I I love their acting, but during the movie you're like, how can you be so stupid? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I know how I feel about children, you guys. Okay. Yeah, I know I ain't got no remorse for that little kid at the beginning. Again, if you see my um <laughs> my review, well my first my first Reaction. time on, watch. You see how I am when that little kid dies. I feel kind of bad that it was so early on and my dad's been making fun of me ever since because of what I said. The girl wasn't terrible, but the yeah. boy, oh my god, I'm like, I just, I, I just couldn't with him. But I did feel bad for him. Yeah. He, his scream is so weird though. He picks up right from when the first part um, finishes. She had just given birth. Well, prior to that, she had stepped on a damn nail. So when she's like telling this kid like, shh, I know, I know, like, Son, your mama really knows. I do like part one better though. I like part one better as well. It did have me jump more. This one only got me good one time. <laughs> the birds! That is what the part right where I jumped. Yeah, it was like a bird. Oh shit, no. Scratch that out. That was bleak, you guys. It was some birds. Yeah, I just don't know where the birds were at. But the first one was, for me personally, way more thrilling. Uh, but the look of it here was great. Um, I mean, just like the first one, John Krasinski did absolutely amazing. I'm looking forward to part three. The only thing I'm not looking forward to is that John Krasinski is actually not going to be director. So I'm a little bit concerned that obviously the look and the feel of it is obviously going to be different in the first two. If, if you're not going to put this in, you think they're going to start from like, if they're going to, if she's going to go back to the family and Okay, you guys, sorry, we had a moment there. Y'all not gonna hear that because that was totally spoiler talk there. <laughs> That's a moment of the quiet place. The girl, I'm telling you, I'm terrible with it. I don't even know her real name. <laughs> the daughter, oh my God, if she don't stop being overdramatic with that damn hearing aid and like, you know, she grabs it and she goes, <laughs> she's gonna one day break that and they're gonna be all doomed. I'm like, like girl, I'm like, literally. 
right here I, I got it you know when you did it in the first movie but she did it like three times in this one right yeah it was a good sequel I prefer the first one these are not really my type of movies do I regret going to the theater no but I could have been good just watching it at home like I did the first one if you haven't seen it in the theaters I feel like it's an okay movie to wait to watch it at home but in my own personal opinion but I like watching it in the theaters, even the first time, because how you're forced to be silent. Mm -hmm. If you're at home, there could be interruptions and a lot of stuff going on. And in the theater, because everybody wants to be, of course, enjoying the movie, Every it's going to be silent and you can actually focus more. I, I like watching it in the theaters. But I do get about the distraction, because if you ask my first time watch, we had a, a kitchen distraction with my mama. Mm -hmm. She was a cooking away. But um, she don't watch my videos with my dad, my tattle tell on me. What would you rate it? A medium popcorn. I would give it a medium popcorn as well. So those are our good little thoughts on A Quiet Place 2. Let us know down below what did you guys think about it? Did you like it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Was it just not for you? Are you planning on watching it in theaters? Are you planning on watching it at home? Literally, you just got two different um, opinions here. At home, I think it's okay. She likes the theatrical experience. I didn't mind the theatrical experience, but I don't think it's when you need to rush to the theater for. But I totally do understand the love for these movies because they were done very very well again it's generally not really my cup of tea uh this is a little bit more on your side yeah. i don't know she's always doing some weird things when i'm editing and i don't pay attention <laughs> until i'm editing this is more on her side of the spectrum but me personally i'm not really you know this is more of a at home kind of like movie for me uh but yeah that is it from us let us know down below do you prefer part one or part two and until next time i'll see you guys at concessions bye